you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to be comparing Evan Moore building spelling skills with 180 days of spelling and word study. So if you guys are excited to hear my comparison between these two spelling curriculums, go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, three, and two, and I'm in my second year of homeschooling. You guys, I have gotten so many questions about 180 days of spelling Evermore spelling, what I thought about both of the curriculums. You guys have been DMing me on Instagram. You guys have been asking me a lot of questions here on YouTube as well. So I decided to go ahead and make a comparison video between both of these spelling curriculums. I will give you a spoiler alert. I do really enjoy and I have enjoyed using both of these spelling curriculums. However, they are slightly different and I do prefer one over the other. So I cannot wait to go ahead and share with you guys the insights, how both of these spelling curriculums look and uh, go ahead and get on into my review. So I'm gonna flip you guys around and let's go ahead and get started. Okay you guys here I have Evan Moore's Building Spelling Skills Grade 4 and I have 180 days of spelling and word study for the fifth grade. So we started off our school year using Evan Moore's Building Spelling Skills Grade 4 so we completed this in our first semester and then we moved on to 180 days of spelling and word study. So both of these spelling programs, you guys, are very traditional based spelling programs. I mean, they're open and go. They are a traditional workbook style spelling program that you may even find in the public school system or the public school setting. Um, these are really, really good for uh, creating independence and giving your kids some type of independent skills or independent work within your home school. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by going over Evan Moore Building Spelling, and then we will get into 100 80 days of spelling and word study. So like I said before, we started off our school year using Evan Moore building spelling skills. Both of the setouts of Evan Moore and um, 180 days of spelling are pretty similar as far as their days. So right here in the beginning of Evan Moore's building spelling, it gives the scope and sequence what type of phonic skills or spelling rules your child is going to be going over that week. Evan Moore building spelling skills is in a 30 week program, which is really good because it kind of gives you that six week flexibility. If you do have state laws where you do have to homeschool for 36 weeks, you have about six weeks wiggle room to play with when it comes to your spelling. So that is always a pro. So for the week's lessons on Monday, it's typically like a um, introduction, introduction of the words where you will be doing like a copy and spelling for activity for the first day. For the day two, you have your word meaning and dictations where you'll be doing some type of different type of activity with your word meanings. And then at the bottom of that activity, you always do your word dictations on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you'll do your word study activity, which is typically like your phonics based activity that you're going to be doing on Wednesday. On Thursday, you're going to be editing um, your spelling words for errors. They have various activities for editing your spelling words. And then on Friday, you will have your weekly spelling test. At the back of this book, they do have like all the forms you do need for uh, Evan Moore for uh, giving your kids like the spelling test and everything. But again, since we completed this program, I made a mistake and threw all that stuff away. So I went on to Evan Moore's website and I copied off how the spelling dictation page will look at the beginning of the book. And then right here, here goes how the list of spelling words will also look as well at the beginning of the book. What I did was I took out these spelling list words and I put it on a clipboard along with the answers and my spelling dictation words. So I can just give my daughter this uh, workbook to work independently and then I can have kind of like my teacher's guide stuff. Now this right here is how the spelling test form looks. Now you don't have to use a spelling test form if you don't want to. I just personally like to use it because I am keeping some type of records for my daughter as far as our homeschooling. So I did uh, use these um, spelling test forms so I could file away uh, some of her spelling tests. So again, it just has like the one through 20 for your spelling words. They do give you some room for if you needed to add some spelling words over from the previous week to use your spelling test for and then at the bottom it has a portion where you would be doing your spelling dictation. 
Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you some of the activities within here. Now, my daughter, if she passed the pretest for the spelling list, I did not make her do that week's worth of spelling. And I believe that's why we were able to get through this spelling curriculum within a semester because it was some weeks where she would just ace the whole spelling uh, test. And I didn't want to go ahead and make her do like the activities for the full week if she already knew how to spell those words, the meanings and everything like that. So um, a lot of the weeks within this Evan Moore spelling, we did skip if she passed the pretest. So right here again on day one, they would do their copy and spell. At one portion, you will have the kids cover up the spelling words and then have them copy it to see which ones they know how to spell correctly throughout the week. Now, what I would do is I would just give my daughter these uh, pre-tests on like a dry erase board. So I didn't have her copy the words if she kind of like already knew them. Again, for the word meanings, like I said before, this portion will always change. So either it would be like a crossword puzzle, some type of fill in the blank. This portion right here always changes throughout the week for uh, day two. And then they have the portion where you do your spelling dictation. On day three or Wednesday, it is always like, again, the phonics type of practice or spelling rules within those spelling words. And then on Thursday, you will be looking through this paragraph in this instance and finding your misspelled spelling words and then writing them how you spell them properly on the list. So this program, you guys, is a very, very simple spelling program. Like I said before, you can just really give this to your kids and just let them go and just do the spelling test at the end of the week. Um, it's very open and go. Um, the kids can read the directions, especially at this level. Um, my daughter, she is in the fourth grade, so she's definitely able to just do this workbook on her own. I just will go over it and um, check her answers and we will be done throughout the day. And like I said before, we do have a lot of weeks where she already knew how to spell the words and we would just skip that week. And that was just kind of like how we went through this curriculum a fast I just don't want to give my daughter like work to do, especially if she already knew how to spell the words. And again, here goes the activity where it shows like the phonics based activity where they're going to be breaking up the two syllables, three syllables and four syllable words using their spelling words. And again, here goes the portion where she has to read the paragraph and write out all of the misspelled words. So you guys, that is pretty much how simple Evermore Building Spelling is. Overall, I did like this program, but let's go ahead and look inside of 180 days of spelling and word study. Now, this 180 days spelling and word study is set up pretty similar to Evermore Building Spelling. The only difference between this one right here is that you don't just have four days of activities, you actually have five days of activities within 180 days of word study. Now the activities, again, they are pretty much similar as far as like how they're gonna be doing it each day. Uh, they have analogies, cursive activities, parts of speech. They're also gonna be studying the prefixes and suffixes of the um, spelling words they're gonna be using the prefix suffixes and root words. So they're gonna be learning like Greek and, Latin, Greek and Latin roots within the spelling words as well. They're going to be doing sentence completion, completions in a day's activity. They have synonyms, antonyms, and then they're also gonna be turning questions around into, into like statements. And then they have word sorts where they're gonna be categorizing their spelling words. So all of these activities are just gonna be spread out throughout the week in the 180 days of spelling. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how a week's worth of activity goes. So this is how your week will start off with 180 days of spelling. They give you your spelling list. And off the back, I just wanna just tell you the spelling words for 180 days of spelling. They are more challenging than Evan Moore spelling. Now, I know I am coming from a different grade level from Evan Moore spelling, but I went ahead and I printed off the Evan Moore spelling uh, fifth grade list. And this is how the fifth grade spelling words looks for Evan Moore building spelling. So again, they're still very, very simple spelling ver words versus this list right here that they're giving your child in the fifth grade in 180 days worth of spelling. Now on the first day, again, this is gonna be your sentence completion where the child is gonna use the word bank right here to fill in the uh, sentences. On day two, they have their synonym and antonym practices where they're gonna be finding the synonyms and the antonyms. And then they have a word category where they have to figure out which spelling word will go in that word category. 
On day three, they have the prefixes and suffixes. And again, sometimes they use the Greek and Latin root words in these activities. And those activities, I will say, they are very challenging for my daughter. However, I really like for her to get a little bit of a challenge within her uh, spelling. And they're challenging, but at the end of the day, she still does enjoy it. But day three definitely trips her up sometimes. And then right here on day four, this one right here will alternate between cursive practice or a sentence completion, which is really, really cool. So in this case, uh, my daughter will take these spelling words and she will write them in cursive. And then on the fifth day, which is my daughter's favorite day, she gets to do analogies. My daughter really loves analogies. And I love the students getting analogy practice because on standardized tests, especially as they get into upper grade levels, uh, they do have a lot of analogies and word studies. And this is just really good practice for them to be able to figure out uh, which analogy will go in the category. And my daughter really, really loves day five. And again, here goes week 11. So you guys can kind of get an overview of how this week looks. You have your sentence completion. They have their synonyms and antonyms practice. And again, right here, they have a part of speech. This uh, day three will alternate, like I said before, from like a parts of speech, some type of um, Greek or Latin word uh, prefix. It just, this day alternates as well. And then this one, instead of it being cursive, this one is they're gonna be turning their questions around into answers. So your child will have to read this answer, this question right here and answer the question, but also answer it in a complete sentence, which is a really good skill for them to be practicing, especially as they're in upper elementary. And again, the week ends off by using the analogies, which again, my daughter loves. So that is pretty much today's work. The biggest difference between 180 days of spelling and Evan Moore is that 180 days of spelling has five days worth of spelling activities and Evan Moore's building spelling skills only has four days worth of activities. So this week, this uh, 180 days of spelling is of course 180 days. So this is a 36 week program, whereas Evan Moore building spelling is a 30 week program. So you guys, I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna give you guys my overall review on both of these curriculums, how I felt and which one I prefer the best. Okay, you guys, here is my final review of Evan Moore Building Spelling Skills and 180 Days of Spelling. So you guys, of course, I have all my notes in my phone, so don't mind me looking down every now and then. But Evan Moore Building Spelling, the pros. It is a great and simple spelling program. It's very independent. You really can just give this off to your child, especially if your kids are uh, in that beginning phase of knowing how to read, especially starting about like maybe first grade, they will be able to do this spelling curriculum completely independent. I really feel like um, Evan Moore Spelling Skills is very, very good spelling program, especially if your child is still learning how to read and they still need that extra phonetic practice. Evan Moore Building Spelling is really really great for that it's a simple introduction to spelling the spelling rules and really how to get your kids kicked off and get started my cons about Evan Moore is that I feel like the spelling words are not challenging enough. I feel like if you're going to give your child a spelling curriculum, you do want that sense of challenge to be in there. Uh, I feel like if you do go with the Evan Moore spelling skills, I definitely would recommend you to go onto Evan Moore's website and look through each of the grade levels to make sure before you purchase that spelling book that those spelling words will be challenging to your children. Um, a rule of thumb I would definitely say is to go up up a grade. So if your child is in a third grade, do the fourth grade book, etc. That's just my personal opinion. But again, you do or you can utilize that resource by uh, going onto Evan Moore's website to see if um, those spelling lists will work out for your child. My other con is that I feel like when you get to the upper elementary grade levels, you are gonna be looking for a little bit more in your spelling words. You're not just gonna be looking for misspelled words or phonetics. You're gonna be looking for more of word meaning, word study. You're looking for a little teeny bit more. So this program, Evermore Building Spelling, I would definitely recommend it for the younger elementaries, K through second will be uh, my preference for this particular particular spelling program. It is a good spelling program. It's open and go. You guys already seen the layout of it. Um, you really are still going to be able to teach your child. However, I feel like once you get to upper elementary, I would personally be looking for something a little bit more in depth in a spelling program. So, 
for 180 days of spelling, you guys, I really feel like, again, it's a great independent spelling program. You really can't go wrong with either one of these spelling programs. I feel like the spelling words in 180 days of spelling, they are more challenging. I really feel like they're more grade level appropriate. So if you have a student that's in the second grade, second grade will be perfect for you. Now, in knowing that the spelling words are a little bit more challenging, if you have someone who is not so good at spelling, you may want to level down in 180 days of spelling. Again, 180 days of spelling, they do have their website where you can look on it to see their master spelling list for each of the grade levels. So you kind of will know what you're purchasing before you actually, you know, pull the plug. Another pro about the 180 days of spelling, you guys, I really love that this program, I mean, you have your analogies, you have your word study, they're learning Greek and Latin roots. They are turning questions into answers. They are doing synonyms and antonyms and categories. They are doing so much with these spelling words where they're not only learning the spelling, but they're learning the meaning. They also are learning the context in which these spelling words are properly used in sentences. So I really appreciate appreciate the in-depthness of 180 days of spelling. I feel like uh, when I give my daughter 180 days of spelling, I know I'm not just giving her busy work. I am giving her something and a spelling curriculum that she is uh, going to really understand the meanings of these words. She's going to understand how they're used. She's going to understand when a word is used as a verb versus a noun. So she is really getting an in-depth spelling and word study program, which I really enjoy. Um, one thing about both of these spelling programs, I will say if you are like me and you like to give your child a little bit extra activities within your spelling program, you can always do that easily with both of these programs. You guys, I have my composition notebook that I always give my daughter. And what I do to kind of like bump up our spelling is I go ahead and I have my daughter define each of her spelling words each week. Uh, she does five spelling words a day. So it's kind of broken off between all of the days of spelling. And she just looks up the definition of the word. So when she is doing the word study portion of 180 days of spelling, she is able to just go back into her composition book, look at those definitions to be able to easily figure out which uh, spelling word goes in those fill in the blanks. Another activity that you can do with the spelling words as well, you can have your child write your spelling words into sentences. A really close friend of mine, we DM all the time on Instagram. Uh, she told me that that is what she does with her son. She has him write out his spelling words and sentences. And I think that is another cool um, activity that you can do to extend your spelling program as well. It's allowed them to not only uh, learn how to spell the words, but know their meanings and make sure they're able to use those spelling words in context. So you guys, ultimately, I love 180 days of spelling a little bit more than Evan Moore, just because my daughter is getting a little bit more. However, both of these spelling programs, you guys, as you've seen on the inside, they are great. They're good to go. If you choose any of these and you're just looking for like a traditional spelling based program, I really feel like you cannot go wrong with either of these spelling programs. So you guys, I really hope today's video kind of like answered all your questions as far as Evan Moore building spelling and 180 days of spelling. Uh, again, they're both good. They go from grades K through six. So you guys, I only have one more level and 180 days of spelling before my daughter will level out. I'm kind of sad. However, um, these both are good, good programs. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.